What we did in the previous calculation was we had a section and we figured out what our total yield was going to be for that section, for that field. What we're going to do in this video is come up with a menu and figure out what our section is going to look like. And for us to be able to do that, we're going to have to figure out how many total row feet per crop we we have to grow based on the specs that we have, okay? So what we're gonna do is set up our menu over here and do the calculations and hopefully come up with a section that we're gonna have to end up planting. And this is what our menu is going to be. We're gonna try to grow 180 bunches of chard, 120 pounds of peas, 300 bunches of beets, we got 300 bunches of carrots, and we got 540 cucumbers. And for us to figure out, calculate what the total row length, total row feet of crop that we need per item for our menu, what we have to do is look up the specs for each one of these crops and divide the total yield that we're looking for by the expected yield yield per foot and that what that's going to do is give us the total row feet that we need to be able to provide for our menu so our expected yield per crop is we can get one bunch of chard per foot we can get 0.2 pounds of um, of peas per foot we can get 0.5 bunches of beets per foot 0.5 bunches of carrots per foot and three fruit per feet when it comes to cucumber okay so all we do now is take our total bunches that we need and divide it by the expected yield and that's going to give us the total row feet total total length of crop that we have to plant which comes out to 180 feet of chard 600 feet of peas 600 feet of beets 600 feet of carrots and 180 feet of cucumber and what we're going to do to figure out how many rows that equals to is we know our rows are 60 feet long, so all we're gonna do is divide each one of these numbers by 60, and that's gonna give us the total number of rows that we have. So when it comes to the total number of rows that we have, we've got three rows of chard, 10 rows of peas, 10 rows of beets, 10 rows of carrots, and three rows of cucumbers. And the way we, ha we have to set up our section is based on how many rows we can get per bed, right? Because our total bed width is only five feet and there's only a certain number of rows we can get per bed. And the specs for those items are, is three rows of chard per bed, four rows of peas per bed, four rows of beets per bed, four rows of carrots per bed, and two rows of cucumbers per bed. Okay, and the way we figure out how many beds each item is going to use up, all we do, we take those specs and divide them by the total number of rows. And that's going to give us basically how many beds of each item we're going to be planting. And that's basically ends up being our section that we've created. And the total number of beds we need per crop basically breaks down at this, right? We need one bed of chard, 2.5 beds of peas, 2.5 beds of beets, 2.5 beds of carrots, and 1.5 bed of cucumber. Now what we can do is just draw our section over here and we know exactly what our field looks like, what our section looks like. So this is our blank slate, this is our blank section that we have, and all we got to do is just take the number of beds and just fill up our space, right? Figure out what exactly our section or field is going to look like. So we got one bed of chard. So this is all going to be chard. We got 2.5 beds of peas. So one, two, two and a half beds of peas. And the half bit, we got two and a half beds of beets. And the half up here. We got two and a half beds of carrots. And we have one and a half bed of cucumber. So all I'm gonna do is just color those things based on the crops that we have, that way we, we have a nice visual of exactly what our field is gonna look like. So this is what our field is going to look like if we do a planar view, look at it from the top. You know, each one of those things is basically one of our items that we came up with in our, in our menu 
from the beginning, right? And that way we, we're planting exactly what we need to be able to provide our clients, to be able to you know, get the expected yield that we're trying to get. Uh, all of that, of course, depending on what's going on in the field. There's a, there's a whole decision-making process when you're actually doing the farming, depending on you know, the weather, the bugs, the, the food that you're giving them, how, how each seed, how each plant, how each crop is reacting, right? And you tweak it and you might change up your field a little bit, expand or shrink each one of these areas, depending on how well each crop is doing. Okay. And this is basically a type of calculation that Marvin and us end up doing. This is a little bit more simplified because we didn't take into consideration all the different variables and play the plus and minus factors. Okay. And this is basically uh, math in real life. Uh, two simple calculations. One of them, taking a crop that we already have, taking a field that we already have and figuring out what our yield is going to be for that. And the other one is coming up with a menu and figuring out exactly what we need to plant to be able to get the food that we're looking for okay what we're going to do in the next video is basically go back to the conversations i ended up having with marvin and vanessa and just take a look at some random thoughts just just put out some random thoughts based on you know some of the information they gave me and um, hopefully that that'll help out anyone that's interested in farming interested in the process here of what it takes to be a farmer and some of the some of the things you have to think about when you're going to a field or when you're putting a project like this together Okay, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye for now.